Hi, in this video I'm going to help you um, learn to play the song Handsome Molly, which is a, a famous old country song or American folk song. It's pretty straightforward, don't think I'll have too much trouble with it, but let's uh, just run you through it. Um, first of all, you need to know that you've got uh, a pattern that gets played eight times. And the first uh, seven times you play it, you play those first three lines of tablature. And on the eighth time, you uh, play that last bar, um, where it says eighth time ending, instead of the two bars on the end of line three. Um, I've done it in 4-4, four, four. that means you're going to be counting uh, in fours. So you'll be counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On the end of the third line, you'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, and then you're back in. So you've got, wish I was in London or some other seaport town. Set myself on a steamship and sail the ocean round While sailing around the ocean, while sailing around the sea Think of Anson Marley wherever she might be and Then you're back in. Let's have a look at the beginning. So the first bar, fifth fret of the D string, third finger And you play this in a fairly staccato way, that means the notes are fairly short and stumpy and the way you make them short and stumpy is you relax the finger once you play the note of the left hand. So watch my, my third finger here and I play the note and then I just relax it. I don't take it right off, I don't go like that, but I go like that and that kills the note, it kills the natural sustain of the note if you like. And you're playing fifth fret the D, fifth fret the A, one, two, three, four. You do that uh, three times. Um, twice in the first bar, once in the second bar. I'm using uh, the back of my first finger to play the strings. You can use a plectrum if you prefer. And the left hand, just move your third finger backwards and forwards. I mean, some people use third and second finger like that. That's fine. Absolutely fine if you want to do that, but I use my third finger for all of it. And then halfway through the second bar, you play that fifth fret of the A again, and you move over to the fifth fret of the E do three of those. Basically what you're doing here, so that you understand it, when you play this note, fifth fret of the D, the note you are playing is G, and that goes with the G chord I'll be playing on my guitar. And this note is the fifth of the scale, which is a D, so you're playing G, in notes, you're playing G, D, G, D, G, D, but the main note is the G, that's the root note of the chord that I'm playing on my guitar. And so when you do this, you're playing a D note on the A string, that becomes your main note. I'll be playing a D chord on my guitar, actually a D7. Um, and then you, you play the A, the fifth fret of the E string, which is the, the fifth of the scale of D, and that sounds really complicated, but it's, it's basically two notes that work really well with each chord. So our first line of tab, On the second line of tab, we're dropping down to the note C, third fret of the A string, and it's fifth, which is the note G, third fret of the low E string. Notice that note is a G, as was that note, fifth fret of the, of the D, so that note's an octave lower than that one. Just do <coughs> that once, and come back to where you started. Right, ending one to seven now. And you'll notice the very last bar of line three has only got two notes in it because it's, it goes to a timing of two four. It's only two bits in the bar. Then you can see two dots, a thin line and a thick line. That means go back to the where you see that sign going the other way, which happens to be the beginning of the tune. It's not always the beginning, but it is in this one. So, as I say, uh, you play that uh, seven times like that. And the eighth time you do this. Three, 
eighth time ending, in other words, when you do that, that last bar on that fourth line instead of the two bars at the end of line three, you hold that last note on. Wherever she may be, and let the note run on. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's play it through the track, shall we? Steady the timing, of course. two fingers on the string and just look at my left hand here and you'll see press hard push the string up and down gives it a nice wobble on the end if you can do that that's brilliant so that's it